uncomfortable clam feelings of impending calamity you should try to take some time away from your stressed out day and worry about something even worse <laughs> all right this is important now you should find the time to ask yourself a question and many of you have i can tell that a lot of people want to leave the social network of choice now and counter likewise many are also just perfectly happy with it and what they can do with it, fair enough, I guess. I did say that I could tell, though. Nah, what I mean by that is I felt the similar feeling of pulling myself away from what appears to be a close-knit group or family, business, euchre club, echo chamber. Truth is that many in both camps share. What the fuck's going on? Very much in common. <laughs> As the evidence for the complete sheer violations of our natural born human rights continue to mount at an incredible rate of misconveyance while unapologetically adulterizing the very fiber of that seemingly immutable notion. Trust. Trust Dick. Trust your instincts on this. Not the anecdotal fables and mythos of our chaotically cataclysmic cancel culture couch captain corrupt comic cocksucker causing it to careen quite close to complete catastrophic conclusion. You are the proud new observers of a comedy. Tickets are free, but probably cost you your life over an incredibly long duration of almost living. It's kinda cathartic. Except if you try really hard, because then you're just a trial. What the fuck, man? I, I'm not gonna dignify that with this comic. I'm having enough fun laughing at the underlords taking themselves too seriously. Ha! <laughs> Guess they didn't get the memo. Sorry, boys, you are not invited to that one. Ha <laughs> ha! Aww, cupcake. The other thing I see is the sheer lack of understanding as to where to go from there. All oh, avenues lead you back on the path if you haven't noticed. It's not your fault. It's designed for that. The entire ecosystem, with the scientifically precise arcana of socially ergonomic commercial people tubes to expedite your journey to collect your top branded shit and be back on your way to your domicile. <laughs> There's only one way to go through it, unless you're gonna go in the opposite direction of the masses, which, wow, it offers resistance, and, well, sometimes I do it to be a dick. But what can I say? Put the top dicks. The ecosystem incubates, coddles, and nurses, and suckles the ideas of people, envisioning forward-thinking inventions, even that which is spiritual, honest, practical, or useful. Things that give a unified people strength and a leg up on tomorrow. And if you do that super awesome, never been seen or done before thing, and you're unable to back up your crazy shit with an even crazier play, and a show of fiat strength, petrol, crypto, bloody old Honda, stained, oppressed, and really become what they fear, which is impenetrable, because that's what it's going to take. If the amount of energy necessary to take you out is more than they can afford, they do this thing that is rare, but funny to see. <laughs> they shut the fuck up for a moment, a fleeting moment, 
as they plan your downfall though and how to mitigate you. You're probably not going to do well on the metaphorical full front of balls to the wall assault style business playing crawl this fall chamboree and club ball. No siree y'all, just stall. Nobody likes anybody who gets anything done. You make everyone look bad, so cut that shit out immediately. I would rethink your business strategy and think how you'll be hedging against the batteries of legislational dogma that will follow regarding your super awesome never been seen or done before thing. Every technological or social upgrade is met immediately with charters, statutes, bills, amendments, bylaws, mandates, requests, demands, orders, warnings, tickets, offenses, warrants, raids, arrests, confiscations, until you have commissary. It's an organizationally provisioned financial account set up so that even the incarcerated can still take part in spending their fiat currency. I spent a night in the detainment facility in the UK before being deported from that country. Upon release of my possessions, I had to sign for five quid, which they bestowed upon me as I was leaving their lovely country. And it dawned on me in that moment that my acceptance of that five quid was accepting the other end of a contract. The term being that I get treated very realistically like a criminal, a free night stay in a state-of-the-art facility, and protected from even myself. Great. That would be most generously jabbing on about on everyone's favorite social media. <laughs> They'll get a kick out of me. And I play along and tell the story about the five British pounds and how it changed your view of how all agreements are contractual. I stopped giving a fuck the minute I started the story. Here's where the final payoff is. You work hard to get here to this moment, so don't be angry if it's anticlimactic, okay? No climax is a bad climax. Here it is. Everything requires that they operate, at the very least, by their own rules. But a set of rules nonetheless. Giving me five lousy pounds wasn't about fetching me a pint when my plane landed in Canada. No, the five pounds merely concluded an economic transaction which Her Majesty was absolved of any mistreatment to me, as was made clear by the fact that I accepted it and left. Accountability is based on one's ability to respect the old rules of humanity. Yes, a certain amount of cohesion is necessary for a group to cohabitate and be social, which is what I call humanity. It would be good that all in the group have legs and arms, heads, brains, and such. There are definite aspects for individual recognition, but nobody innately wants to be that guy or that gal that does or doesn't do that thing that may or may not have a name because we got rid of nouns completely due to pronoun privilege. Pricks. They use a system that's loosely bound by rules, and they are what we have to work with. The internet's the same way. It's a code base that relies on things to work because of rules. Don't get me started on how surprised any of the old school propeller heads whether any of this shit works at all. Very intelligent people are very clever at using these counting machines and can do ridiculous things as good or as exceedingly better than the boomer progenitors of the Arpanet. We grew. I mean, they grew into it. Downriggers pop, and it's time to reel this catfish in. Time to come back full circle now. It doesn't matter what you use. You alone know what your intention is, and you alone live with that intention until you unleash it with your actions. Now, all the worst things you can imagine they do with your intentions, well, they do it while punching puppies and wearing socks and sandals. However, they do it on a tangible system that operates on rules determined by it not working if it's done wrong. The laws that govern your fifth of the eyes also operate on the sets and subsets of jurisdictional laws that operate on a constantly growing caseload of precedence built on the intentional shoulders of the immutable human laws that you don't even need arms or hands or feet to partake in, although they help considerably. If you're under the illusion that a document is what gives you your rights, you're mistaken. You never stopped being human now, did you? Nah, you may have just stopped being an aware one is all. I do it all the time. None of us are at fault for that. It's how it works. It gives us spirit. 
Our natural born senses are super cool to us motherfuckers, but are actually quiet shit at conveying the real reality around us. As our brains are processing an incredible amount of information and performing a colossal amount of heavy lifting in order to make this experience survivable. The emergence of a new conscious collective is upon us now, manifesting this reality as we create it in our visions. So wake up, motherfuckers, we got work to do. And that's what goes on inside my head. This is Robert J. Vandross. Mm-hmm. Signing out. Peace, motherfuckers. Much love.